Hey everyone, so in this screencast I'm showing you how you can set the seek bar in Articulate Storyline to read only. Now this is helpful for um, projects where you want the user to see how long, um, or like see progress um, throughout a slide. Uh, you want them to see like the duration, but you don't want them to be able to scrub or drag the seek bar so that they're able to skip content. So what we need to do is go into, first we'll sh I'll show you the, um, the seek bar with the default. So let's preview this slide. So we've got a video here. Oh, I don't think I have the seek bar on. One moment. Yeah, seek bar. Okay. So here we have a video and you can see the seek bar here, but the user can drag the seek bar back and forward. So they could in theory skip the content. Um, so to prevent them from being able to do that while still having the benefit of seeing um, the seek bar, you have, uh, you're gonna go into your player properties and then on this first slide here, the features, under seek bar, you've got allow users to drag seek bar, allow uh, seek bars read only, or allow drag after completion. So that option, the allow drag after completion option is a great one if you want the users to have to view all of the content on a slide, but if they go back, they can scrub through so they can um, say, oh, I thought there was something interesting at, I don't know, five minutes in, so they could scrub to five minutes in. Um, so to make your seek bar read only, you just set it to seek bars read only and click OK. And now when we preview this slide, We'll see the seek bar, but we won't be able to interact with it. And there you go. It's just that easy.